Right, all we're going to do is uh, a short piece on, on how to plant potatoes and particularly growing them in tubs and containers. Now there's various containers you can use. The standard plastic trug is more than adequate, something of this size, possibly a bit smaller um, but not much. You've got various things on the market, grow bags, um, these have a, a flap at the front that you can lift and take some of the potatoes out when they're ready early. Single bags that haven't got the flap but are reusable um, so in the long term will work out efficiently for you. And the other, more basic, is the potato planter or vegetable planter which is effectively a bag of compost um, that you're going to grow it in. Simply with potatoes, there is no uh, hard and fast rules about varieties, they come in three, three types. First earlies, second earlies and main crop. First earlies are basically new potatoes, your boiling potatoes or salads. Um, those are worth growing in containers because you get a lovely fresh clean skin. Um, the, the second earlies are purely what they are, they're a follow on from the first earlies and they could be used more varied for, for baking, roasting, chips and so on. And then the main crop, which are always ready later and could be left in the ground for later digging up to Christmas. Um, again, your jacket potatoes, roast potatoes, chips, and many of them will do various different uses. And it's just worth looking at the packets and on there they will tell you what they're best for and, and pick the one that you're likely to use the most. We're going to use a, a kestrel, which is a second early. But I say it's down to preference, different soils, different potatoes. Try it and test it and see where you go. This is what was called as a taster pack, which has only got about 10 tubers in there, um, which is best to start for, for things like this because you don't need too many. The ones we're going to plant now, this is just a single bag, and they're fairly rigid. You open them up, they have a flat bottom and the important holes in the sides of the drainage. Now the hardest bit is going to be getting the compost in. Now most people um, overfill the bags to start and all you need is about a third of the bag filled with compost. As you can see. Any compost is fine, it doesn't have to be specific and certainly don't use manure because all you'll have is lots of leaves and no potatoes. Now with the sea potatoes, tradition says that you should chip them, I put them in the sun uh, to get the eyes to develop, these being the eyes on the potato. There is real, no real need and it's just a bit of uh, extra time to spend. If you want to do that, fine, stand in an egg tray, bright light and you'll see this develop. I choose to just go straight in. Bag of this size, um, three sea potatoes is actually more than enough. Um, and we're just placing them in the compost evenly. There is not really a, a, a right side up, and they're just in there. All you need from there then is a light covering, probably about two to three inches on top. So the bag is just over a third to half full. You'd leave those in there, and this can be done from really March onwards uh, until the green shoots are starting to show, and hopefully we'll show you that separately. Um, and as the green shoots start to show, you just fill this bag up. Finally, you'll end up with green stuff up here, compost to the top, and what will happen is that the shoots will root and form potatoes all the way up the bag rather than just a ring of potatoes at the base which if you just filled the bag up and planted it is what will happen. So that can now just sit on the patio or in a, a cold conservatory greenhouse if you wanted to bring them on early. The other one is this, which is the potato planter. They put a nice little cut here on the top. Now the only, the only disadvantage with this is that obviously you're, you're getting all your compost in the bag in one fell swoop. So you don't want to plant them at the top up here, you want to plant them again lower down. So it is best to lose some of that compost if you've got spare compost bags, just dip them into that. So you end up probably a bit more out of there. 
you can say if the bag's about half full, because you can always nestle the potatoes into it. And again, in a bag this size, probably it's a little bit more volume, probably four sea potatoes. And just push them in, then you won't need to fill up the bag after. Into there evenly in. Make sure the bag doesn't close over the top because obviously there's no water getting in and if it does get a lot of water in there it will get quite stagnant. So just roll the top over to let some air and light to it. And the other important thing to do, a pair of scissors or anything, is just make some sensible drainage holes in the bottom. You don't want it sitting there especially when the sun comes out, it'll be boiling the potatoes before they're actually grown. Potato fertilisers can be added, I would suggest they're probably best added once the potatoes grow in rather than before because they will take a few weeks to get going and you'll, you'll lose some of that fertiliser. Um, other than that it's now just water and waiting for them to grow. Again that can go on the patio. You can get planters now that are willow surround and so on which makes it look a little bit prettier. But other than that, that is all there is to it. Put them in, let them grow and enjoy. Okay.